Hi, I'm Darren from Watercolor Mentor. If you're new here and would like to see weekly tutorials, make sure that you subscribe and press the notification bell. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a loose painting of Venice in an hour, and I'll go through different techniques, all the paints I use along the way. So what I've done at the moment is I've started off with a very uh, light wash of pyrrole red, and um, using different mixes of red here in the sky and also mixing it with some cobalt blue. With the building on the right, I've mixed in a bit of yellow ochre near the base and also some cobalt blue there just at the base of the building. And I'm now adding in some clouds while the paper is still wet. Mixed up a bit of grey from my primaries and carrying that wash further down and what I'm doing here is I'm actually lifting out a bit of paint and that just helps to add a bit of variation to those cloud shapes. I finished off the wash carry that further downwards and um, I've used a bluish cobalt blue near the bottom making it darker near the base and really make sure that when you are doing this wash you're getting it all done in one go so you're going from the top to the bottom making sure that it doesn't dry on the horizon line just to keep it nice and consistent. Really at this point you're just putting on the base colors. Now I've mixed up a thicker mix of gray using my three primaries and I'm using a size six round brush now to do some of these architectural details of the church. So the domes really have to make sure that they read properly You know, I've gone and actually done the sketch before, which didn't take too long. I'll say about 15 to 20 minutes to pencil in some of the general details. It doesn't have to be exact, but if you do want it to identify as Venice, really important that you get those domes in correctly. So now I'm just using this grayish mix and I'm mixing it in here with some of the trees that are coming out from behind that building to the right, joining it up to this building here as well and I'm going back into that wash and just trying to change the color a little bit taking out a bit of pigment and adding a bit of variation there and at this point you can start to add in the figures and I'm adding in some light paint here I would say about a quarter quarter mixture of paint to three quarters water just putting in some colors and decided I'll add in a bit of white paint near the base of the church in the background now using a darker mix of blue and grays I'm just gonna ent put in the legs now indicate some of these poles and some lights as well a bit of architectural detail in the background and same with the building to the top right and you can get the shadows done too light source is coming from the left so you can see I'm following that shadow pattern with my figures and also with the building you can see the building on the right hand side the left side of the building is illuminated so I'm going to keep it that color and I'm adding in bits of gouache now just to add some highlights here and there in the painting. Now, really from here on, it's just adding in little bits and pieces of details. So I'm adding some colors to the figures now and I've decided I do want to darken them a fair bit because they're not standing up enough against 
against the background. So I'm just adding more detail, I'm adding some hair and some shadows on the clothing. It's up to you how much detail you want to put in with the figures. that I wanted to get in was the mother and the child to the left and I'm just taking out a bit of paint from these lamps here so I'm actually using some clean water just applying it to the paper and scrubbing a little bit with a brush and then using the tissue to lift out Adding in a bit more detail here to that building. There's a statue in front and I'm detailing these lights as well. And Notice on the ground as well I've made some directional lines just to help with the perspective and I'm adding in little figures in the background really not too much detail but I felt that I needed to add a little bit more in and that's going to help with the perspective as well and this bit I'm fixing up because I've realized this building should be closer to the ground so the building on the right so I've just extended that down a little bit more and now I'm using some darker paint just to add in some of these wooden poles near the water and of course some birds helps break up the sky a little bit makes it more interesting just polishing it up where I can but at the same time trying not to go overboard I don't want to add too much detail to a particular section or a particular figure. The important thing is to keep that style consistent across the entire painting. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below and also check out my recent lighthouse tutorial on the top right hand corner and also if you're interested in more landscape tutorials have a look at this playlist on the bottom right. Thanks for watching.